We're here to announce the arrest of Deron Lee West, who has been charged with first degree burglary, third and fourth degree sex offense, and second degree assault. And this arrest stemmed from an incident that occurred on August the 19th at 5.53 a.m., where Prince George's County Police Department received a 911 call from a parent in the 8100 block of Allendale Drive that an individual has broken into her house and touched her child. The uh, officers responded to the scene. Once on the scene, they met with the mother who described that uh, her daughter was awoken uh, to a male who was touching her. And at that time, the daughter screamed and was able to fight the male off. She screamed out loud to her mother who ran to her aid. As the mother ran to her child to protect her, she observed a male running out of her house. Officers quickly responded to the scene, set up a perimeter, and started searching the area. Based on that search, they discovered a wallet on the scene at the foot of a ladder that was used to enter the home. That wallet belonged to the suspect, who also lives in the eight, uh, 8100 block of Allendale Drive. Officers responded to his home. Uh, once inside the home, they located the suspect hiding inside a closet. He was taken into custody and transported to the Department of Corrections for the charges. He's being held now on a $75,000, 100% bond. Does anyone have any questions regarding this? So he was a neighbor? This was in the same? He lived in the same, same 100 block, yes. And he is not known, I want to make it stress this, this family is, does not know this individual. He's not a family friend. And uh, what we believe is this is an isolated incident. We don't believe that we're investigating any other incidents like this in this community. Uh, the, the community is, is safe. There's nothing else that's been reported, but we are asking that anyone with information about this crime or any other like crimes contact our tip line. Can you say anything more about the suspect? Is he an offender, previous like, sex offender or anything like that? We did not find that information that he did, but uh, if, if you check uh, Maryland case search, you may find some, some other charges on this individual. Did he know the girl lived there for living in the area? I mean, did he specifically go to that home because he knew he knew the girl? That we don't know. But we do know that when he was in the home, he did go in the child's bedroom. And uh, I guess a parent's worst nightmare to be awoken to the signs, sounds of your child screaming that there's a man in the house. And as far as you know, this didn't get past the fondling stage. If this was not a rape. Um, and it, he was not able to continue. Um, we don't really know what he had in mind. Right. It, it was not a rape, uh, and it was stopped when the child awoke and began to scream, and her mother ran to her aid. So this could have progressed to something even worse if that had not happened. Yes. Had the child not screamed and her mother been alert enough to run to her aid, it, it definitely could have been worse than what it is. What was the age of the suspect? The suspect is 24 years old. And what, what did you say about a previous criminal history? Uh, if, if you check uh, Maryland case search, you'll probably find uh, some interesting information about this individual. How old was the girl? The girl is 11. It was just a matter of the girl screaming that got the suspect off, or did she actually have to fight him? Uh, she, she, she was able to fight him off and also with her mother running to her aid. So you mentioned the ladder. Was it, was it what, what floor? Of there was a ladder located that led up to a second floor bathroom window, which was adjacent to the uh, child's bedroom. And can you kind of set the scene for us? Is this a house? A yes, it, it's a, a duplex. Okay. Were there any other burglaries in the area? This was an ongoing... We had nothing else related to this crime that we can establish at this time. Do you know where the ladder came from? We, we do not. I don't have that information. It wasn't from that home. As, or it wasn't already there. Yeah, right there. I, I don't have the information as far as where the ladder came from. What was the condition of the suspect when you know, he was arrested. He was, uh, is, he that. seemed to, he's, he did not seem to be under the influence of any type of uh, narcotics. Seemed to be uh, operating normally. Did he resist? Okay. He did not. The hour of this seemed to be a bit unusual, just before 6 o'clock in the morning. Is there any, um, anything that points to, like, a timeline of when this happened? Could it, he have been in the house for a while? Also, was anything taken? We, we did not find that there was any evidence that the house was in disarray, that he had ransacked the home at all. Uh, we believe that when he went in the house, he went straight into the daughter's bedroom. Was it just the mother and the daughter at home? Yes, yeah. just the mother and the daughter were at home during this incident. How was the daughter, the, the little girl? Def definitely shaken up. The mother is also shaken up. Uh, grateful that this individual was apprehended. She was uh, 
obviously bothered. I think that's a parent's worst nightmare to wake up to the sounds of your child screaming and then coming out and discovering that there's a, a person you don't know in, in your child's bedroom. The suspect who said lived in the same block, did he live with his parents or with other people? Can you tell us what his living arrangement I'm not exactly sure who he lives with, but it, it was the, also the eight, uh, 8100 block of Allendale Drive. Was there anyone else home when he was, um, when there, was there was a female at the suspect's house who was home and was fairly cooperative with us. Was she arrested and charged? She was not. Did you have anything that linked him to this besides the wallet? Uh, the, the wallet, which contained his identification, and he was also uh, positively identified. Do you know where that, that was found near the ladder? It was uh, the wallet with his identification, and it was found right at the foot of the ladder. And when you say he was positively identified by the mother or the daughter? Or? Uh, he was positively identified. We're not going to go into that. Can you say anything at all about the um, accident in College Park? I have no information on that, and we're actually working on getting information on that to you as we speak. Okay, thank you very much.